Okay, so I've recently been playing around with voice control for my home automation. I'm using Auto Voice, a plugin for Tasker on my Android phone to control my Vera Hub, but I'm sure it could work for any home automation controller that has a plugin for Tasker. If none of that makes any sense, don't worry, I'll show you how to set it up in a second. Just wanted to give you a quick demo of how it all works before I, before I do. Okay, Google, turn on the living room light. Okay, Google, set the living room window lights to 55%. Okay, Google, play the Sonos. Okay, Google, stop the Sonos. Okay, Google, lock the front door. Okay, Google, turn off the living room light. Okay, Google, turn off the living room window lights. So you're going to want to download Tasker, Auto Voice, and if you're using a barrel like I am, you're going to want to download Automation. Tasker and Auto Voice uh, cost money. So I think they offer demos. It's been a while since I downloaded Tasker, but I think you can get a demo of Tasker. Uh, in Auto Voice, you can definitely get a demo. But they're so inexpensive, um, I think it's worthwhile just to buy and support the developers for making such awesome apps. Okay, so first, uh, we're going to go into Settings and Configure Google Now. So um, I have a Samsung Note 3, so your menus may be a little bit different. Uh, but what you're looking for, at least in mine, is language and input. And then we're going to go to voice search. And then OK Google detection. So you're going to want to turn these on. Um, and then you can choose if you want to do it from any screen or from the lock screen. I think that's what's so cool about this, is to be able to do it from any screen instead of having to tap a button to say, uh, to get it to start. Okay, so once you've turned that on, uh, and also, um, I've already done this, my phone is already set up, but you want to make sure your language is set to the correct language uh, as well. Okay, so once you've done that, uh, you're going to want to go to accessibility. Like I said, this is on the Note 3. Yours may be a little bit different. But go to accessibility, and then you're going to scroll down uh, until you see Auto Voice with Google Now integration. Make sure that's turned on. Obviously, you would have had to already have downloaded Auto Voice. So make sure you've downloaded and installed Tasker Auto Voice and Automation. So now go ahead and open up Auto Voice just to confirm uh, that you would see uh, Google Now integration is turned on. You should see that green line that says you can use Auto Voice with Google Now integration. So if you don't see that, uh, go ahead and check your settings again because that's what you're looking for. Can okay, you also want to configure Automation to work with your phone if it's not already? So what you can do is just swipe to the right or to the left, depending on how you're looking at it, and then go ahead and manage Veras and add your Vera in. Uh, you'll just need your standard username and password to add it in. Uh, and make sure you test it. Make sure you can uh, turn off and on your lights, whatever device you want to use, because uh, that needs to be working, obviously, before you can control it with your voice. Okay, now we're ready for the fun part, using Tasker. So we're going to be using profiles and tasks today. Profiles basically will just trigger tasks. So to create a new profile, you just click on the plus, choose one of these options, and then you choose a task that would be executed based on when this profile is triggered. So first I'll just walk you through a really basic profile to get Auto Voice to work. So I'm going to tap on event. I'm going to choose plugin, Auto Voice, and then recognized. Then I'm going to tap on the pencil, and then I'm going to enter test in the command filter. So what this is saying is, whenever I say test, 
this profile will become active. So I'll tap on the checkbox. So just give me a summary here. I can tap the back. And now it's going to ask me to choose a task. So I can choose one of my tasks if I've already made one. Or I can go ahead and create a new one. Then I'll give it a name. Tap the checkbox. And then it's going to ask me to give some actions in this task. So um, I could just tap on the plus here to choose an action. Uh, in this case, I'm just going to choose an alert, and I'm going to choose a pop-up, and I'm going to call it test. And then I'm going to go back, out. Okay, so to get this to save in Tasker, I'm going to need to exit out of Tasker, and now I can test it. Okay, Google, test. There we go. So it says it received possible commands test, and then it popped up my test notifier. So that's just a really basic command, just to show you how it works. So now we can go in and actually get it to do some home automation for us. So you can see in here I've got quite a few different profiles. Um, I'm just going to do another quick basic one here, and I'm actually going to modify this one here. So I could change this if I wanted to. Um, maybe test this or something if I wanted to have multiple words. The other thing I could do is speak to filter. This is my test. And then it's going to give me a list of commands to choose from that it thinks I just said. So what all, all that does is just allow me to speak my command filter instead of typing it in. Uh, the other thing you can do that I've been using quite a bit is this contains all button or checkbox. So all that's going to do is look for the words in the command filter uh, and filter out anything else that I, that I say as well. That's really helpful for me because I can never remember what my commands are. So as long as I just say the three words that I actually want to have happen, like light on living room, that would be four words, but you get the idea. I can say anything else I want. So I could say something like, hey Google, can you please turn on the lights on in the living room? And as long as I said those four words, it would do it for me. So that's what that contains all is. If I don't check that, I'm going to have to say the exact phrase or word in the command filter. So I've been using this quite a bit because um, I have a horrible memory. Okay, and it's just going to show me that here. So it's going to say, there's my command, this is my test, and then contains all is true. So now I can go back out. Okay, Google. I can't remember, is my command, this is my test? Okay, so I said all those words and it still popped up. So kind of cool. Okay, so going back into Tasker, um, Tasker will allow you to substitute words. So I have this front outside light off as my command, but I may not remember if it's outside or outdoor. So what I've done is asked it to replace outdoor with outside. So I could still say outdoor, front outdoor light off, and it would know that I mean outside. So I can set that up by tapping on the pencil here. Scroll down to advanced, and then there's this replacement option. So what I would do is just say outdoor equals outside. I can also string these together just by typing in a comma and then adding another set of words. Okay, so enough of the hypothetical. I'm going to show you some actual control here. So I'm just going to tap on my test task here so I can edit my task. So I'm just going to go ahead and hit the plus to add another task. Then I'm going to choose plugin. This is where if you're not using Avera, you choose your plugin for your home automation controller. Since I am using Vera, I'm going to choose the Automation HD app here. And then it's going to give me a choice of device or scene. I'm just going to choose a device here. Then I'm going to tap on the pencil next to configuration. So this is where I choose my device. I'm just going to scroll down, choose a basic light switch here. The control is switch power, I'll just leave that. And it, then in my action, I have the options for on, off, or toggle. Personally, I like to set up my profiles for both on and off, so separate profiles. But if I wanted to, I could choose toggle. What toggle would do is if the light is on, it would turn it off, and if it's off, it would turn it on. So you could just have one profile to turn the light both on and off. One thing I recommend doing in the name is to go ahead and give it a description of what it 
what the action reflects. So I'm just going to add on here. Whoops. At the end of it. And then that will let me know that this is going to turn it on. Because once I create this, I can't go back in and edit it. And sometimes I forget because I have a horrible memory if I'm turning it on or off in my action. But here it is, and I can just tap back. And then now I'm controlling my basement light. So all I need to do is say the keywords in my profile, and then it would pop up my test text, and then turn my basement laundry light on. So remember, to save this, I need to go back out of Tasker for it to save. Okay, so that was just a basic on-off functionality of a light. What if you want to do dimming, though? That gets a little more complex, so you need to use variables. Um, this is an example of a command that's using variables. The thing with these commands is you have to use an exact phrase in order for the commands to work. So I actually had to memorize this one, <laughs> which wasn't great for my poor memory. But anyway, um, what you'll do is choose your phrase. So I have set the and then I have a device variable in here. So I would say something like kitchen light, living room light, you get the idea, two, and then my level is another variable, and then I have a percentage symbol. Uh, I found that this, this one in particular, uh, Google wasn't fully recognizing everything I said, so I had to put in some substitutions or replacements here. So percent, I put in the word percent equals the percent symbol, um, white equals light, you get the idea. Okay, so this is what my um, command looks like. And then my task, if I go to my dim lights task, I actually have if statements looking for each of these uh, commands that I want to send to Vera. So let me just tap on the first one here. So what I'm doing here is I'm setting the name of my device variable to the specific device number in Vera. And I'm only doing that if the device number matches the keyword that I've said. So if I say basement desk for my device, it's going to say, oh, okay, that's my device number 57, 157 in Vera. So if you're not sure how to find your device number, what you can do is click on the wrench, then on the advanced tab, and the device number will be listed at the top. I also use this plugin called Event Watcher. Um, and then I can click on the devices option here and it will show me all of my devices. Okay, now I'm going to go back out. So here I have separate if statements for each of my devices that I want to control. So I'm replacing the device variable basement desk with the number 157, kitchen cabin 85. You get the idea. So that's just um, a separate if statement for each device that I want to control. And then down here in this set in send intent, that's where all the magic happens. So I'm just going to tap on that, and these are just specific codes that you'll want to enter uh, in this set, send intent here. So android.intent.action.view, and then in the data you'll choose automation, colon, forward slash, slash, device, and then this would be the ID of your Vera, the XXXX that I put in here, and then your device variable. So what that's really going to be is a number, so like 157, 85, whatever, you get the idea. And then we have uh, forward slash dim and then forward slash level. So that level is going to be what I said. So if I said set the lights to 25%, it would put that level variable in there and pass it on to the Vera. Okay, and then lastly, what you're going to want to do is set the target to activity. And that's it. So as long as you've got your variables set to the right device number and then sending your intent, you're good. Okay, so that's a quick overview using Tasker and Auto Voice to control a home automation, uh, in my case, Vera. So hopefully that made sense. If you have any questions, let me know down in the comments. Thanks.